What are arithmetic progressions and how can a knowledge of them help us in everyday life? Let's take a real-life problem for which we need to find a solution. In a plant and tree nursery, the four trees are always popular with customers, so they plant a lot to meet demand. To keep organized, they plant the trees in neat rows across the field. In the first row, they plant four trees. In the second row, they plant three more trees than in the first row, and they continue on with this pattern, with each additional row having three more trees than the row in front. Let's see if we can answer the following questions. How many seedlings are grown on the 11th row? On which row are there 46 fir trees? How many trees does the nursery have if we know that four trees have been planted in 101 rows? Is there a row of 281 fours? You can answer these questions without knowing what an arithmetic progression is. For example, you can simply draw on a sheet of paper the rows planted and see how many fours will be in each row. For questions we want to answer here, however, our sheet of paper might not be enough. It would also take us quite a long time to count the number of trees in our question about the 101 rows with this method. It is simple and much more efficient to use calculus formulas for arithmetic progressions to help us find the answers to our questions. Let's show how many trees will be planted in the rows. A1 equals 4, number of trees planted in row 1. A2 equals 4 plus 3 equals 7, number of trees planted in row 2. A3 equals 4 plus 3 plus 3 equals 4 plus 2 times 3 equals 10, number of trees planted in row 3. Let's use the letter N to represent any numbered row from 1 onward. We can see that there is a pattern here that can be written mathematically. AN equals 4 plus N minus 1 times 3, number of trees planted in row N. Now that we found the mathematical formula, we can answer the first of our questions by replacing n with the value 11. A11 equals 4 plus 11 minus 1 times 3 equals 34, number of trees planted on row 11. Great. Now, let's try to answer our second question. On which row are there 46 four trees. Why not pause the video now to find the answer yourself? Using the formula a n equals 4 plus n minus 1 times 3, we know the number of four trees is 46. Let's find the row this number of trees will be on, the value of n, by solving the equation. 4 plus n minus 1 times 3 equals 46. n minus 1 times 3 equals 42. n minus 1 equals 14. n equals 15. So, on the 15th row, there are 46 firsts. Our formula worked. The third problem we need to solve is to find out the total number of fir trees planted in the nursery when we've planted 101 rows. Basically, we need to find out the sum of the terms of progression. A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A101 equals... Instead of having so many values added together, we can use a mathematical trick and turn everything into a multiplication. The sum of terms of an arithmetic progression 
Sn that conforms to a particular pattern is given by the product of the number of terms and the arithmetic mean of the numbers in the progression. We can find the arithmetic mean by adding the first term and the last term in the string and dividing by 2. Sn equals n term a1 plus a n over 2. We suggest that you pause this video now to think about the next step in solving this problem. We think you might have guessed it. First, we have to calculate the numbers of firsts in row 101. This is very simple now. A101 equals 4 plus 101 minus 1 times 3 equals 4 plus 100 times 3 equals 304. Now that we know the last term in the string, it's very simple to answer our question. Pause the video again now to work out the answer. 101 times A1 plus A101 over 2 equals 101 times 4 plus 304 over 2 equals 15,554. To answer the last of our questions, is there a row of 218 fours? We first need to express this mathematically. 4 plus n minus 1 times 3 equals 218. n minus 1 equals 214 over 3. n equals 72.33. The answer to the question is no, because the an equals 218 equation does not have a solution as a natural number. In this video, we've learned a number of things about arithmetic progression. To conclude, we can say that arithmetic progression is a series of real numbers in which each term, starting with the second, is obtained from the previous one by adding the same real number r. The difference between a term of the arithmetic progression, starting with the second and its previous precedent, is the same and is called the ratio of the arithmetic progression. The general term of the arithmetic progression, or the term n, is noted and given by the formula. The sum of the terms of arithmetic progression is denoted by Sn and is calculated using the formula used earlier in this video, the product of the number of terms in the progression and their arithmetic mean. Let's take a well-earned rest from the, all our fur tree planting now and get ready to discover the next set of math tricks to help us solve real-life problems.